Hey, Bubba Tech here with another ratchet video. This is going to be a uh, cleanup, a dis disassembly, cleaning, lubing, and reassembly of a, a vintage proto ratchet. This is a 5449 proto professional half inch drive ratchet. Uh, since this one doesn't say Los Angeles on it, and since it doesn't have the uh, R circle uh, registered trademark uh, mark on there after Proto, I believe it was manufactured sometime uh, in the late 1950s, early 1960s. Just going off of that, so uh, it's pretty back there. Uh, so very vintage. Got it at my uh, favorite pawn shop that I go to. So this is the tabletop portion where I go ahead and disassemble and then I'll show you all the other stuff. We're gonna try to show you all the steps this time. So this is, before I haven't really done anything to it. I haven't cleaned it off or anything. All I did was kinda uh, break these loose so they weren't so uh, tight and I could get them out easier. And uh, to help me do that, I kinda sprayed some uh, WD-40 on there to kinda loosen them up. So that's all I've done to it. It's got still got quite a bit of rust on there and uh, looking kind of grungy and haven't really done much to it. So I wanted to kind of show it before I did all that. So let's go ahead and get to it and disassembling it here. So sometimes these have uh, like uh, lock washers uh, on them. I don't think mine does. I haven't seen any. So there's your two screws. And then we'll go ahead and push it out the front here. And there's your gear and your faceplate. And there's one spring and a pawl. And here's a um, Another spring and a pawl right there, and uh, I think you can uh, get these selectors off. I really don't know how to, so I'm not going to try. So uh, it's really mucky <laughs> and dirty in there. So I uh, got quite a lot of dirt and rust. And uh, when I first uh, got it, it had a squeal to it. So looking to fix all that with uh, getting it soaked, cleaned up, and uh, lubed up. So maybe it won't squeal no more, or uh, have a, you know, when you're really going at it, have a, um, you know, those those bad sounds to it. Um, really just looking it over, I don't see any teeth that are broken, and the paws look in great shape, and I don't see anything in here that's broken, so. Looks like we're good to go there. Just needs a good clean and a good lube, so uh, stay tuned. Okay, here we are out in the garage, and we're getting ready to put everything in the bucket to get cleaned up, uh, de-rusted and everything. And I uh, already got some tools in here in this uh, clear bucket, some other stuff I'm wanting to get done. I try to get a lot of stuff done at the same time. So here's our proto ratchet. I'll go ahead and uh, throw it in there. I'll kind of clear out a little spot in the center for it. And here's our gear. Try to find a good little spot in there for it. And our uh, faceplate right down in there. And I made sure I have all the parts and uh, get the paws in there. And then the screws. And then throw one spring up here. And the other spring down here so they don't get caught up together. And uh, one thing I'm trying that's new, this will be my first time doing it, hope it works out, uh, is uh, CLR. I uh, heard about this actually on YouTube and uh, using it to get rust off uh, fast. And uh, most of the time, like I've said in the past, I use Evapo Rust and it's always worked for me. And I've uh, used it a couple times on hundreds of tools and uh, it's done a great job for me, but I usually like to soak them in there sometimes anywhere from one to two days to I've soaked stuff for as long as a week that was really caked on there with rust. So uh, I heard that CLR 
uh, you probably leave it for an hour or two and then you need to get it out of there because it may uh, have some uh, start to have some buildup from the cleaner on there uh, but that it gets all the rust off and everything and that it's a fast acting product so uh, I'm gonna try it and uh, hopefully it works out and I got quite a bit of tools here to wrenches uh, punches and uh, my proto ratchet so we'll see how it goes so uh, get this just about anywhere pick mine up at Walmart and uh, get my wrenches here and just give it a nice little poke and then uh, go ahead and pour it in there I'm hoping there's enough in there to cover everything up kind of chose a uh, a little bit of a narrower container to try to get everything. Looks like it's going to take the whole thing. Good thing is it looks oops, looks like it got covered everything up, get my glove on here, kind of push down the stuff that didn't get covered up, not much, looks like it got pretty much everything, get submerged, looks like the, the um, gear the driver part might be sticking up so i'll probably come out here in about an hour and flip it over uh, so it gets that side real good but and uh shake it a little because i've heard that helps so i'll be keeping my eye on it and this will probably go for about two hours if i see that it's really doing a great job after an hour i'll probably pull it but you know i'll be checking it every 30 minutes so uh that's the de-rusting part and uh, I'll come back when I start taking them out. Stay tuned. Hey, I just wanted to bring it back on real quick. And I don't know if you can see uh, in there uh, that well. But um, this is only after maybe five, ten minutes of this being in there. And again, this is my first time using this because I, so I want to kind of document it. But there are little bubbles in there forming on the top that are coming off of uh just about all the parts and uh it has just like i said in the past five ten minutes changed to a different color than when i put it in there and uh, it's kind of a clearish green and now it's becoming a dark green and just within you know this many minutes and there are just bubbles popping all over the place and uh it is already turned some of the uh, uh, parts just within the past five ten minutes some of the parts that were a little bit dingy are already starting to shine up without me even taking them out and cleaning them up and uh, the inside of the ratchet I don't know if you can tell that but there was nothing inside the head of the ratchet that was shiny or bare metal it was all coated in rust and uh, dirt and debris and stuff and it is already without me doing anything starting to come clean on its own and the screws almost look like they're done and they've only been in for five or ten minutes so it's a uh, fast acting stuff I'll have to keep my eye on it just want to do that little update real quick Stay okay uh, I brought it into the house and uh, we're in the sink and uh, they were in there for about uh, almost an hour and a half maybe an hour and 20 minutes a little bit over an hour and 20 minutes and uh, I kind of had a snafu I guess uh, my container either had a crack in it a small crack in it or something I don't know what was going on or maybe it ate through it I don't think so the rest of it seems perfectly fine but uh, it started leaking so I didn't get to go to the full two hours uh, started leaking on my uh, my, my bench out there my workbench so uh you know i had a towel underneath it so i recommend that and make sure you got a container that's uh, uh either you know doesn't have your for sure is watertight or 
uh, so it'll hold it or you're for sure that it won't eat at it, which you know, eat it up, whichever one the reason why that happened. But anyways, I brought it in here and have kind of washed off some of the tools and I'm going to go ahead and uh, keep washing them off. I got a couple brushes here and uh, some soap and water and uh, as it recommends, uh, just go ahead and get it washed off. Uh, kind of just took a little bit of a brush to this one already. Our uh, ratchet we're working on, our proto ratchet, and it's already uh, just with a little bit of brushing, not much at all is already looking pretty nice so get some soap and water in there and get the rest of it cleaned up and maybe a little bit of more brushing and we'll see where we're at and uh, I gotta go ahead and get these other tools done too since I got them in here and there a lot of them are looking pretty good too so I'll get back with you here in a moment okay I got it here on the table and we're ready for reassembly all the cleaning's been done all the components have been cleaned and given a nice uh, light coat of rim oil uh, to preserve them. Uh, the insides look nice and shiny and degreased and all the you know grease and uh, oil and debris and dirt and rust is all gone and the gear looks great the back of it looks great the detent is uh, nice and smooth and it just came out great the faceplate looks real good. You can really read what it says now. And the inside of it looks good. And it, <coughs> excuse me. And the paws look great. And the screws look almost brand new. And the springs came out real good. So everything cleaned up real nice and uh, came out real good. So all we're going to do now is lube it up and put it back together. So I got my Master Pro. Uh, I think it's synthetic high temp disc brake wheel bearing grease and I put it on uh, my guns and my ratchets and stuff like that so first off I'm going to start with the inside here just do a nice uh, coating on the inside uh, some of my ratchets I'm conservative with others I kind of goop it on I guess uh, because there's a lot of real estate here so I don't mind if I put quite a bit in there you know one one little uh, finger full of it's gonna go a long ways for sure go ahead and get it all nice and in there and all the little uh, spots where it's gonna be working the action at and uh, I think that does real good shined it up a little in there and uh, get a little bit more out here and gonna put it on the gears uh, maybe not that thick on there maybe uh, use that a little bit more kind of all the way around as the paws work it it'll uh, move it from uh, space to space so that'll be good kind of put it up here on this collar and uh, a little bit on this collar You wipe off the excess when you're done, no problem. And I uh, just want to make sure that it looks like they all got it. And I think they all did. So there's that. Okay. And uh, then uh, go ahead and put a little bit on the faceplate. Everything's going to kind of move on it too, so that's good. Uh, just the uh, excess from my fingers on the paws be good and uh, I think it looks I think it looks good so I think we're ready for reassembly now so uh, reassembly is in the reverse of disassembly and uh, these things can kind of be a bugger sometimes put back together so you gotta take your time with it. Go ahead and put the gear in and then go ahead and uh, put the pole in. And 
spring. I'll go ahead and take that out for a second. Get that spring in there where I want. Go ahead and put the other pole in. So kind of compress that spring and then And uh, move that to the other side for a second. Put that spring in. Make sure it's in the right spot. Make sure I'm in, fo in uh, picture here. And then uh, go ahead and uh, drop the gear in. And I think that's going to work fine. Seems to be working pretty good. Make sure your springs are where you want them. Okay, and then go ahead and uh, put the face plate on. Flip it over. Put your screws in there. And go ahead and start tightening it up. That's good. And like I said, mine doesn't have any of the lock screw, the lock rings or anything like that. So that one's good and tight. That one's good and tight. Put my lid back on my stuff there. Let's test it. Sounds pretty good. Yep, sounds pretty good. So, uh, that's the uh, disassembly, cleaning, and reassembly of the uh, Proto 5449. Uh, professional uh, from the uh, late 50s early 60s and um, about the CLR uh, that stuff is about the same size as the little jugs of Evaporust that I get uh, from Harbor Freight and it's about two dollars three dollars cheaper it worked great it took the rust off all those other tools took the rust off of this one and shined it up real nice I think it uh, did a great job uh, about the container. It ended up having a crack on the bottom. It kind of felt brittle afterwards. I don't know if that was because of the CLR. Uh, like I said, first time me using it, and I don't know a lot about it. But uh, it seemed to be a good product, and it seemed to do what people on uh, YouTube was saying, that it uh, really took the rust off nice, and it was very fast acting. I only had it in there for about an hour and 20 minutes. And as you can see, uh, this is a, a reborn ratchet um, after that. So uh, it's a good product. I may give it another try in the future. Um, but uh, sounds good. Nice and lubed up. Brought it back to life. So there you go. Uh, stay tuned for other videos as I get other ratchets in the future. Bubba Tack out.